like Wizkid has just announced his new studio album. It's going to be called Morayo. And he kind of renounced being an Afrobeat artist. While I understand not wanting to marginalize yourself, like he can make reggae, he can make hip hop, he can make Afrobeats, he can make urban and R&B. I get all of that. But you saying like, if you guys like Pacromo, don't download this album, it's not for you. Like, why are you being so negative towards the same, the very same Afrobeats community that made you the Starboy Wiz kid that you are? I think when it comes to Afrobeat artists being global and well known, they kind of want to stop being called Afrobeat artists and just artists in general, which is fine, arguably, because no one says Canada's own Justin Bieber or South America's own Shakira. They just say Shakira and she's a well known name, a household name, and they get that credit. But they don't say, like, don't call me a Spanish artist, don't call me a Latino artist. They just say, I'm Shakira. They go about their business. But I feel like African artists want so bad to detach themselves, once they get to a certain level of fame, to detach themselves from being African. Like, Wizkid, since when are you not an Afrobeat artist? How will you ever not what? be an Afrobeat artist? What? As much as you want to be global, and your sound is global, you have transcended all of the leaps and bounds that any artist could want to transcend to. You have reached the pinnacle of success when it comes to being an artist, talk less of an African person, an African artist, but still, that kind of tone of if you liked Pakuramo, this is not for you, this is not your album. So who's the album for? Who are you marketing it towards? Like which region are you looking to do these concerts and these shows? I guess it's not Africa. I guess you're not planning on doing any promotion in Africa. I don't think you're facing Nigeria or Africa at all because the way you're sounding, and I'll read it to you. Album is done. See you soon, bitches. If you like the Papa Wiz Kid, don't download this album. In fact, Delete me from your playlist and your life. Ain't that kind of strong? All of the classic, Af and I'm talking classic Afrobeat WizKid songs, you want us to delete you because you're looking for a new audience. I get wanting to broaden your audience, but why at the expense of the audience that made you who you are? And this is coming from somebody who's an Afrobeat fanatic, a WizKid fan, a WizKid stan, an Afrobeat aficionado, if you will. I don't like that tone. That if you, if you like the Pakuruma Wizkid, don't download this album and delete me from your life. Listen, Wizkid, I'm a huge fan. I always have and I literally always will be. You're one of the people that's on my unfoldable list. I'm not holding on you, rain nor shine. But as a true fan, as an honest fan, I will tell you that it kind of hurt my feelings. I feel like I grew up right alongside you. I watched you succeed. I watched you go from the Nigeria's own Wizkid to Africa's own Wizkid to the world's Wizkid. And I loved every single part of your journey and your story. But to kind of denounce you being an Afrobeat artist, it hurts because we, as the Afrobeat consumers, as the original Afrobeat fans, we made you who you are. Afrobeats is a huge genre because of fans like us who carried you on our heads, literally. But you want us to delete you because we love who you authentically were? I don't know. In the meantime and in between time. <laughs>